Hello and welcome. I'm playing on Terraria and I have had such a problem dying and fighting these harpies. Well, there's an easy solution. Make it so that they can't get in. But there's actually a fun little thing. And you notice there's five enemies nearby. I've seen as many as six harpies in the area. I believe that's the spawn limit. Now, what I've decided I want to do is I want to not need this box. I want to be sneaky about it. Now, the thing is, is that if there's a certain number of monsters on the screen, then no more monsters can get on the screen because there's a spawn limit. In this case, it currently is, I believe, six. We'd have to check the wiki to confirm that. So, if I was to make a box, you notice it's interrupting these guys' flight patterns. They have a AI type, which means they'll move in a specific pattern. Oh, if only I had the extendo grip right now. I happen to be playing on a yo-yo playthrough, so my equipment is slightly limited. Alright, that should work for that. And let's build it out this way a little bit. Run out of brick blocks. Oh well, it is what it is. And... Now what I'm doing is I'm creating this little chamber here. Okay, that should work. And how about we have right there. Now I think I want it further over. This is going to be a corral. I'm going to trap all of the enemies in a specific place so that they can't be anywhere but that place. So we take some actuator blocks. There, and then here. I bought too many. Oh well. I will wire it up. Now what I'm going to do is a simple corral where they can only get in, but there's a double gate so that they can't get out. And that's going to be important. Just to make sure that they don't escape, because that'd be bad. Alright, let's wire... Them up. Where shall we put the wires? Can we... I can't remember if the levers can be on the wall. Okay, looks like they need to be on the floor, so my death spot will have to go. Yeah, obviously I've died a couple of times to them already. Mmm, out of blocks. Bummer. Alright, well, fine, I'll use clouds. Don't care at this point. I just didn't come very well prepared, obviously. Here, here, here we can light. Alright, so gate A, gate B. should be able to do is get that out of my hand is when there's one knocking on the door we let it in and now that one's trapped now the trouble is going to be keeping them both in like that and that one now we have to Maybe if I go over here a little bit. Oh, almost had all three of them. There we go. Now what I might do is try and open... There we go! Ha ha! Now this should work. I can go anywhere I want, as long as I stay on the screen so that they don't despawn. But, so long as I'm on the screen and they don't despawn, I can do whatever I want. You know where else this works really well? Is in the underground, in the hell. 
mining elevators or hellstone I should say yeah trap your enemies I go underground and I start from the very bottom and work my way up digging out through the ash blocks and really the only monsters you can get bothering you are the imps and the bone serpents because they can move through blocks but the bats and the slimes often will take up those spawn slots and then there won't be any new spawns because there's already the limit and they can't despawn when they're on the screen so you know as long as that block that box stays closed I'm completely safe no more problems with feathers of course this won't work with every mob because some will reach through blocks so if you're in the jungle don't you'll have to worry about dealing with the divine guys because they go through walls and there might be some worms I don't think there are any worms in the jungle so slimes or hornets would work really well for a box trap like this and of course if you're doing say a critter farm or a mob trap this is obviously the opposite of a mob trap <laughs> but but here's an interesting thing if you're trying to find say life fruits or you're farming do this then you won't have random mobs coming in to bother you because the spawn limit just remember if you leave the area like this let's just walk away off screen right about there is the spawn limit so any moment now we should be seeing new harpies coming unless that wasn't far enough nope that wasn't far enough okay I thought that was let's try here that far enough Good. okay so some of them did despawn because I got far enough but not all of them and there's a new spawn so once again let's immigrate those into the final spot and open the trap for new immigrants doink gotcha and then there's this fifth one which we can wait for her to come up and visit us eventually now sometimes it'll get stuck like that and some mobs will actually get completely stuck like um, the corruption floaty guys they'll just go bounce and bounce and bounce forever oh we swapped darn it Yeah, it looks like it's going to be very hard to capture more than three in this single box. So it looks like having three chambers might actually be even better. But you can use momentum to your favor because they do have momentum the one that's already trapped is moving slower than the one that's approaching and you can do a little speed gate so we're safe again all right I hope that helps you guys so if you're ever fishing and you need to catch a jewel fish and there's harpies all over the place there's two options the fun one which is capturing them or the simple one just create a roof that they can't fly through because they will enter water and they can pass through platforms. They're such a pain. Alright, thanks everybody. Hope you leave likes and subscribe. And I will see you for more tips and tricks that I've come up with. And maybe other people have too, but I've come up with them on my own. Till then, take it easy.